everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're going diving with my friend Matt um, and we're gonna go out, the plan is to go out to some deep water from any, somewhere from 90 to 110 feet or maybe 80 to 100 feet, something like that. Somewhere in that range, we're gonna chum in some deeper water, hopefully bring up some ukus, uh, maybe some other fish as well. And then if we can't get any ukus, we're gonna go inside and grab or take our three prongs and just three prong around, shoot some in Pachi, Aveo Veo, Kole if there's any and um, yeah. So either way we'll get some fish, but that's the plan. And I just recently, so I just recently bought these gloves right here. These are my Hana gloves from Hanapa'a. And if you look, they have this little rubber reinforcement thing going on in the gap between the thumb and the index finger which I think is for, you know, when you're three-pronging, that's where the rubber usually rests. And so I think that's what it's for, but that's, you know, I don't, I don't know 100% if that's what it's for. But we're gonna test this out, see if this helps at all with, um, you know, for those of you who three-prong a lot, you know that if you're taking a lot of shots and, you know, um, reloading the rubber over and over and over again, eventually your hand starts to get sore right in that gap right here or between your thumb and your index finger. It starts to get sore after a while, so we're gonna see if that this helps prevent that. Because for nationals, um, for those of you guys who don't know, me and Matt and our other friend Blake are gonna be competing in nationals. It's gonna be an invasive tournament and I wanna use a three prong for as much of the tournament as I can. Um, and this will really help if I'm taking a lot of shots. If this, you know, actually does work in protecting that part of your hand, that way my hand won't get as tired or as sore as quickly and I can use the three prong longer. So, but we'll see, we'll see if this actually works. But um, yeah, let's go get mad and then we'll head over to the spot. Alright guys, so while we were out in the deep water, this isn't about 100 feet, 90 to 100 feet, we were chumming and a big shibi comes into our chum, maybe like a 40 pounder. You can't see him super well here, but I'm trying to drop next to him, you can kind of see him. I'm trying to drop next to him because I want him to start eating the chum, so I don't want to drop through the chum line. I just want him to come down, get comfortable, I don't want to scare him away. I don't want to chase him right off the bat, but he came right at me there and that had my heart racing. But he stops a little bit too early, not quite in range. And he starts kind of swimming away here, but he pans out and he's kind of coming closer. I'm kind of getting closer. And then the second one joins him. And then the two of them just kind of take off together at the surface. But he was pretty big. If I didn't stone him, I probably would have got spooled. Solid 40 pound chibis. Both of them were around the same size, so if I had to guess, around 40 pounds, maybe a little bigger. But still super cool to see, even though I didn't get a shot. It's always cool to see Ahis in the water, just because of how little we see them normally. But after that, we had a decent sized yellow spot come into the chum. You can see him kind of cruising around here. He starts eating this piece. So I just line up, take a shot. And what I did was we weren't seeing that many fish and we saw maybe two ukus that were pretty small. 
So what I tried to do here is I tried to kind of just sit. I was around 40 feet down here, 30 feet down. So I kind of just sat at this depth and let the yellow spot sit there. And I wanted him to be fighting and, you know, reflecting light off his body, off his scales to try and catch the attention of something bigger. Or maybe those shibis might have come back or some other shibis would come around. But it didn't really work. But I tried, I tried. So after that we weren't having much luck out in the deep, nothing else came around. So we went in shallow, found a nice reef with some holes and caves and stuff. And this is Matt's camera right here, barring my ski prong that was gifted to me when I was back in Hilo. And he's actually using one of my gloves, one of the gloves that I bought for his right hand, for his shooting hand. But he gets this nice avail veil, pretty much stones it takes it off his spear and reloads. It's, then he lines up on another Mempachi and sticks him. So got a nice little double there. So my GoPro actually bugged out and stopped working. So Matt had to just record me from the surface. I'm looking in this cave here. Mm -hmm. Took a shot at a nice Oveo Veo. A veil veil are one of my favorite fry fish on the reef. They're my second favorite, unless you count Nobeta as a reef fish, then they're my third. Nobeta is my first, a hole hole is my second, and then a veil veil is my third favorite fry fish. A good size of veil veil. And I gotta say, the Waihana gloves are actually really helpful. Here's a nice taco right here that Matt found, but he lets it go. Let's go to get a little bigger. But as I was saying, the Waihana gloves with that reinforced rubber part in the um, gap between your thumb and my index finger, they're actually really helpful in, in that they kind of, they lessen the amount of pressure that you can feel from the rubber. For those of you guys who three prong a lot, you guys probably know have had this happen to you where you're three pronging for hours and hours on end and your that gap between your hand or your two fingers starts to get sore starts to cramp up but this whole time that i was three pronging i actually my hand was perfectly fine it was i could have three pronged for three more hours honestly and matt too said that it was super helpful for him because when he was not using it, we were through pronging for so long that he started to get that kind of pain in his hand. And obviously you don't need it. It's not a necessary thing. But if you're trying to through prong for long periods of time, it's it's helpful. Got another nice avail veil. And then before that, in the clip that just played, I got two nice Vampachis on a drop. But anyway, if you want to get some of these gloves yourself, you can either buy them at Hanapa'a like I did. They carry them. Or you can go to waihana.com. And if you use my promo code, you can get 10% off your order. Um, and that's your entire order. So whatever you get from waihana.com, you'll get 10% off. But like I said, we carry them in, or they carry them in Hanapa'a as well. So you can get them there if you're on Oahu. But if you're not, and none of the dive shops around you sell them, you can get them at waihana.com. I'll leave all that information for my promo code and stuff uh, on the screen and also in the description. Got a ni another nice avail veil there, if you guys couldn't tell what that was. But yeah, just had a blast, honestly. We didn't get all of the fish that we shot on camera. Matt 
wasn't really recording his drops. He recorded that one where he shot the veil veil. And of course, I didn't have my GoPro, so Matt had to be recording me. And eventually, his camera died. So we missed a lot of the the clips that we could have got. But we just had a super fun time, just through pronging, through pronging pachis and veil veils. So on this drop, you couldn't really see it in the beginning, but I just shot a toile and I'm bringing it in here, taking it off and reloading. And then I line up back in the hole and I got lucky, uh, a veil veil popped out. So I shot that one. So we got a cool little double on this one too. But yeah, we got a solid haul of reds and that yellow spot. Super action dive. fish good size of veil veils and then a whole lot of mimpachi a nice yellow spot that will turn into some shot sash in a bit but we're gonna clean all these up that's some big old mimpachis but we're gonna clean all these up and then get a cook up on some of them and then the rest are gonna go to uh, our friends luau he wants some in Pachi, so we're gonna give him whatever we don't eat. But yeah, well, it's uh, got a lot to go through, so we're gonna get to work. Yes, so.
right guys that is it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed remember if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button it really helps me out a lot and i genuinely do appreciate every single one of you we just recently hit 7k and we're on our way to eight um so i really once again really do appreciate all of you um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that super awesome catch and cook like i said before in the video um avail veil is one of my favorite if not my favorite fish to fry on the reef i I think it's a tie almost between a hole hole and a veil veil and then uh, and the betta is pretty far ahead if you count that as a reef fish but yeah super good super tasty and also super fun to three prong um i always i always enjoy three pronging a lot almost more than shooting the gun but you know there's only there's a limit to kind of what you can shoot with the three prong or at least a limit for me i know a lot of other guys be shooting ukus and uluas and all kinds of crazy stuff with their three prongs um but i just haven't been able to get that done so um but three pronging like i said super fun for me um take a, taking a break from using the gun and all of that is always great good fun back to the roots kind of thing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that and once again if you want to get those gloves really great for three pronging i'm definitely going to use those up, up at nationals um for uh the the invasives tournament um because i'm i'm gonna try and use my three prong for most of the dive i just think it's more efficient that way and so having that um, little guard on the gap in between my fingers uh, will really help me be able to three prong uh, for a longer period of time without getting as tired uh, but yeah if you want to pick some of those up for yourself you can either go to Hanapa in Dillingham, it's on Oahu. But if you're not on Oahu and you are um, you want those gloves and whatever dive shop is around you doesn't sell them, you can go to waihana.com and use my promo code, uh, all caps, Zing, Z-I-N-G, um, at checkout and you'll get 10% off your entire order. And if you, you know, you can get other stuff too, wetsuits and um, all their other gear. Uh, and that'll all be 10% off if you use the promo code. So you could do that. But like I said, easier to just go Hanapa as well if you're on Oahu. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's all I got for you guys today. And I'll see you in the next one. Shoots.